everyone, it's Tanner and welcome back to Steampunks for another video. Now couch co-op games are a great way to spend some time with friends or even get somebody into gaming that normally wouldn't be. Quality couch co-op games, however, are harder to come by. Cooperative options in games are becoming more like add-ons to increase a game's shelf life. When a game like Helldivers or Towerfall truly embraces the co-op playstyle, you get an experience that is truly rare across most platforms. Another game to add to this incendiary pile of fun is Ultimate Chicken Horse, a platformer where each level is designed, built, and played by the couch players. This co-op game is a pretty simple concept that can really get out of hand fast, with some hilarious mishaps along the way. Each player is able to pick an item from a box of random items at the beginning of each round. Once players have selected their item, they must place it somewhere in the level, either to impede your opponents or to make the level easier for yourself to complete. Quickly, the level will begin to fill up with random items, creating a truly unique level every time you play. There are tons of different items to choose from. Some items are more practical, like wooden platforms, metal girders, and hay bales that will make it possible for you to jump to the finish. And then there are also the hazard items that will make it tough for you and your opponents to clear the level. These hazards include different spikes, spinning blades, swinging saw blades, fire hydrants, and other various shooters. Each game is broken into rounds, where players are to clear the level from one side to the other. Completing the level will award you with a point at the end of the round, while not completing the level will put you further behind your competition. If both players reach the end of the level, then the round will be nullified for being too easy. This scoring system makes for a delicate balancing act, as you need to make levels that are easy enough for yourself to complete, but difficult enough for your opponents to die on. This also makes each item you choose at the beginning of rounds a point of strategy. Will you pick the platform to make that jump easier, or will you place a hockey puck shooter for an added challenge to your opponents? At the beginning of each game, it is hard to see how the level is going to play out, but by the time a winner is being crowned, the level they've constructed will no doubt be an uncanny gauntlet of madness. While being quite the fuel-filled frenzy, Ultimate Chicken Horse isn't lacking in art style or music. The cheerful artwork of the barnyard characters and the colorful backdrops are enough to make you forget you're competing with your friends. If you start falling behind in the competition, the experience is still just as fun thanks to the lively artwork. The game also has several unlockable levels for you and your friends to find and play, as well as unlockable costumes for your favorite animals. What chicken doesn't want a mohawk? While there are only a handful of songs in the game, the developers have done a good job selecting the tracks. In other indie games where music is limited, it can be a bad decision to pick a song that is short, doesn't loop well, or has an annoying, repetitive sequence. This can leave players with a couple options, either turn the music off or listen to something while you're playing. Ultimate Chicken Horse doesn't seem to have this issue for me anyway. The music they selected fits in well with the theme of the game, and it takes a lot of playtime before the tunes can drone into your brain. Music can be a pricey expenditure for indie studios, so this is a pretty common issue, but Ultimate Chicken Horse is a great example of having limited music and still making it enjoyable. For seasoned Ultimate Chicken Horse players, there are even a few options to enhance the gameplay. By selecting the creator mode in the main menu, each of the players will be able to specifically choose which items they would like to place. This removes the random party box and the selection of items at the beginning of each round, and replaces it with a booklet of all the game's different items. While it's fun to play this way by picking your items, the party mode that lets you pick from random, predetermined items is a lot more entertaining. That being said, the creative mode still has some attraction. For players familiar with the items and the mechanics of the game, it can be fun to play an entire level only using one or two items, like the swinging saws that also double as platforms. Picking specific items to play with can turn up the challenge significantly depending on which items you pick. Overall, Ultimate Chicken Horse is a friendly competition between fellow gamers, as the title would suggest. The title seems to be a mashup of the popular childhood games Horse, where players gain letters if they aren't capable of completing a task, and Chicken, which faces two opponents head-on until one chicken's out, which I have to say is pretty clever. If you are well versed in the world of couch co-op games, then this game is certainly for you, and it comes highly recommended. Even if this genre is new to you, this game might be worth checking out. Maybe it will be the next awesome game that you and your buddies get hooked on. Ultimate Chicken Horse is fodder for unlimited fun, and I'm giving it a 9. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed this video then please leave us a like and maybe think about subscribing to Steampunks. We're a small channel and that stuff really helps us out guys. As always you can find us on the social media and here's some more content that I think you might enjoy.
Until next time, guys.